Hello everybody to the wonderful world of Minecraft and Lord of the Rings over hill and it has been a while uh, it's been two months and I just recorded about 10 minutes of this video whilst I left my Spotify playing in the background playing copyrighted Lord of the Rings music in the background of my Lord of the Rings series and I didn't notice because I'm playing Lord of the Rings with Lord of the Rings music playing and it just sort of fit so yeah, I'm going to re-explain everything I explained in that 10 minutes because I had to delete that clip because obviously I cannot upload copyrighted music uh, with this series. As much as I would love to put Lord of the Rings music behind this series, I just can't. And I think my volume may be a little loud, so I'm going to turn that down to 10%. Um, and that's because I'm no longer using Audacity to do my audio. I'm just using my pure microphone because it sounds good enough. And it's so much extra time and effort to use Audacity, in my opinion. So I've decided to cut that off. I'm sorry for the slight dip in quality, possibly, of my audio. But, I don't know. This is just sort of a trial run. We'll see how it goes. But yeah, as of where, as for where I've been for two months, um, I took a month out of Minecraft and YouTube and such to focus on school, getting my social life back on track, etc, etc. I've now done that. I'm all okay and stuff I've had a lovely break and it's time to get back into it um, so yeah I took a month out for that and then I decided to extend that o over the course of my mock exams for AS level and I did relatively okay in them I, I passed everything I did everything I needed to do for that uh, that took up a week and then um, I, I wanted to get back into the videos but uh, I was I, I was ill I was ill with a sore throat which doesn't sound too bad, uh, but it just made me not be able to talk really at all without it really hurting or sounding completely strange and not like myself. And um, that ended, that lasted for much, much longer than I first anticipated, and it's still kind of with me. Uh, the total time for that now is almost three weeks of having it. It seems to be okay at the moment, so I sound normal. To myself um, and yeah normal enough to record a video and the reason I decided to reimburse things with this series in particular rather than SMPDX is uh, I'm having some real issues with SMPDX at the moment um, I can't play it at all the server just won't let me connect and it's really really buggy and laggy and it's just a pain to record anything plus I'm getting really quite tired of the amplified terrain and having to build in it and I'm just, I think I'm just going to sort of wait around for the next series of that to start or just slowly make progress on that. Uh, and the reason I wanted to get back with this series is I was playing a mod pack with Nano, the 1.7.10 pack. We are actually doing videos on that and uploading them. Uh, the first episode should either be already out or coming out in the near future tomorrow, in fact. Uh, and yeah, we were messing around and I found a, uh, a little essence berry bush which allows you to essentially grow XP. And he wanted it really badly. And I started saying, my, no, mine, my own, my precious, golem impression, blah, 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 blah. And then after that, I just impulsively said, sorry, an old series came back to haunt me. And then I realized, well, it's not really an old series. I could still pick it up from where I left it off. It's still a series that I could continue quite easily, and I mean, you guys watching seem to love it. It's The last episode's got 55 views, which is better than anything else on my channel. I'm still getting subscribers in, and you know, the first episode of the series, uh, when I first started it, has now got something ridiculous like 120-something views. And I mean, you guys just seem to love The Lord of the Rings, so I, I'm going to continue this series for you guys, and... It should be quite good, but it's going to be the same format, like half an hour, 45 minutes, an hour, however long, just rambling on about whatever and whenever, and just running across a path till we reach somewhere new. So at the moment, I've just passed Waymeet, and my plan is to get over into the old forest and down into the Barrow Downs a bit in the Breeland and stuff. Just have a look over that area and make my way back into the east where uh, the fun stuff is, essentially, because we've done everything in the west. We've done everything we need to over there. Uh, got ourselves some nice armor and uh, tools and stuff, which is, of course, very, very nice. And it's just time to get more progress done and talk. 
And I'm, I'm going to start, uh, restart, I should say, the Lord of the Rings audiobooks. I uh, listened to them when doing my previous Lord of the Rings series, and it gave a really lovely uh, reference to everything I was seeing, and it just made me really feel like I was in the universe. And that is going to continue with this series. I'm going to restart them. Uh, because it was a while ago since I've listened to them, and it has to be sort of a yearly thing, a bit like watching the Star Wars movies. It just needs to be something that I do, and it's gonna be it's gonna be nice. I've downloaded, I've bought the audiobooks. The last time I just listened to them on YouTube, but the YouTuber that I watch them from no longer has the videos on the channel. I assume taken down by copyright, which is all fair play, and I couldn't find anywhere else to get them for free so I, I I I did buy them and I feel good about buying them uh, they're now on my computer I can listen to them whenever I want and yeah it's by the same guy who read them last time I forget his name it's Robert something there's a quest here six books do I have any books no it won't be in the equipment pouch with it oh, I everything I reckon it'll just be in my backpack if I have books yes one two three four five six Six books. There we are. Quest complete. Brilliant. They just took the books straight out of my back. Okay, no, they didn't. Okay. Well, well, there we go. We got our quest complete. We're doing well. Uh, but yeah, um, I can listen to them whenever I want. They're on iTunes, so I can just stick them on my phone, listen to them when I'm out, and hopefully get through them once or twice every year. Hopefully, my phone has enough storage space to actually have them on. Because they're, I mean, there's Lord of the Rings, they're big books. And yeah, I just love this series. Because it's somewhere I can just sit and talk. And I don't have that anymore with anything. I can't just sit and talk with people. Because, um, yeah, it's just, I've lost a lot of close friends. I've gained a lot of new close friends. But I'm not at that stage with any of them yet where I could just sit and talk for hours. So it's nice to just be able to sit and ramble on to the complete wide world of YouTube. <laughs> It's just a nice thing to have. And uh, as for any other series happening, the 1.7.10 pack is returning. As I've said, me and Nana are doing it once again because the first episode we did years and years ago, probably a year ago, if not two years ago now, where we were on a multiplayer server, we set up camp, we brewed some uh, cider in Minecraft, we got liquid XP in tanks, we got loads of cool stuff. And then... Between the first episode going out and uh, us sitting down to record the next episode, the entire base that we had built got griefed. All of our stuff was gone and we essentially either start, had to start from scratch or scrap the series. So I decided, well, I'll leave the series on my channel. I'll leave the first episode on there. See how it does. Uh, and then maybe I'll redo the series at a later date, which is what I'm doing, because that, that video got something like 90 views for the first episode of a series, which is pretty good. The only things that really rival that are the Lord of the Rings series. So, I mean, it was a good series to do. People seem to love modded Minecraft. Uh, so it's, got, it's coming back. It's coming back. We're going to be trying to do weekly episodes every Sunday. I don't know how that will go, uh, but the first one's releasing Sunday the 25th of March 2018, depending on whenever you're watching this, it could be it could be any time really. So if you're watching this at some point in the future, I'm sorry it's already been released, but go back and watch it anyway if you haven't. And if you're watching this the minute it came out, still got it to look forward to maybe, I don't know. But. Yeah, I don't know when this uh, video is actually going to go out. I need to reconfigure re myself to how to edit a Lord of the Rings series video because you believe it or not, it's like it's one of those series which you wouldn't believe would have a hell of a lot of editing, which it doesn't. It's just me sitting down talking for 45 minutes to an hour and then just publishing that to the world. Uh, but there's the music and the logo and stuff. I don't even know if I still have them on my new computer. Cause I can't even remember if the last episode I did had my new computer or not. But we'll see. I don't know what it's going to be like. But I just hope that it all turns out well. The audio sounds good and the video doesn't need to be re-recorded. Because I hate re-recording things, to be honest. It would put a big damper on things if I did. 
But yeah, today I, I uploaded a video. It's uh, scheduled to release Sunday. It's that 1.7.10 pack. I'm really getting back into the grind of things after taking a two-month break, which was longer than I wanted to. But, you know, everyone's got to take a break every once in a while. Um, I can foresee myself taking more and more breaks as the year progresses. School's getting tough. Uh, I'm just wanting to go out and have fun with friends. I'm wanting to sit in, sleep and videos sort of get pushed under the rug because I don't really have a lot of ideas for them and when I have an idea I'll do it. I, I like one of these videos if I get motivation to do a Lord of the Rings series uh, video I will do one. If I get motivation for 1.7.10 pack I'll do it. If I get motivation for SMPDX somehow then yes I'll do it and one announcement I do have to make is on the SMPDX server uh, we've always had three American admins. We've had Loon, Quirky and Nerd and whenever a European needed help, more often than not, they would be asleep because of time zones. So um, the oligarchy, the admin ship, uh, decided to take a talk in the super secret admin chat they have and elect a European admin to uh, guard over the Discord server and the Minecraft server and help out anyone who was in trouble, welcome new members, uh, fix things if they're broken, sort out things and stuff and that uh, European admin they elected was me they felt that I would be an unbiased mature reasonable choice for the role and so far I really haven't had to do much because uh, SMPDX is a very self-keeping environment and I mean do we have it seven mugs I doubt we have seven mugs uh, well one two three four five six seven okay we'll have seven mugs in a minute Time to get time time to get absolutely messed in the face. I can only tell how this is gonna go. I'm gonna end up like this for ages. But it's all for the quest. But yeah, I'm really thankful that they chose me to be the European mod. Um it's really, really nice of them. Oh there we go, quest complete. Let's pick that stuff up. The White Wolves of Winter. Who's that? Where did, we, where did we get this from? We have to read it now. Yes, here's an old story, Lo, that every young halfling should know. When white wolves came down and gave all folk a frown at East Farthing, Farthing's first sight of snow, they came from the wastes of the north. In the hills they roamed back and forth. Iced Brandywine River they crossed with a shiver to savage both halfling and dwarf. Those wolf nighty winters ago would have dealt us no end of woe, but it's not for fair Buckland, the Shire folks Luckland, who woke their alarm horn to blow. This horn must be blown only strictly. Don't mess or be scolded bitterly. With don't mess or be scolded bitterly. With a shot and a shout, Buckland drove the wolves out, and the Shire could celebrate victory. Oh, wasn't that nice? That going in a mementos pouch. How nice was that? I'm trying to go east. That was a nice story. I'm trying to go east. It's not working. I'm very drunk. Uh, not in real life, just in the game, I promise. Oh, God. Why? Did, uh, well, to be fair, he did need six mugs. And I had six drinks. So in order to give the mugs, I had to drink the drinks. God, it's actually making me feel a little sick just looking at it. I'll look away and just hope I'm running in the vague direction. Okay, now I'm going completely off, off the path. God, I didn't expect this video to start out with alcohol. <laughs> but, you know, that's just how it rolls. Oh, yeah, this... Uh, this what, what else uh, so, uh, made me think that I should bring this series back was the fact that I've been uh, just just started watching Nano's Let's Play series where he literally just rambles for 10 minutes and just makes 10 minute episodes out of it. And I was like, yeah, I miss rambling. I miss just sitting down and rambling and running and playing Lord of the Rings and telling great stories of my travels whilst traveling even more. And yeah, it's been it's been missed this series. It really has. And I'm glad to say that I brought it back. And I really hope that you guys are happy that it's come back. Because, you know, I've been 
I've been I've been missing this series, as you can tell. And I'm sure you guys have as well. I mean, the last episode did get 55 views, which is pretty good as my channel goes. I mean, I've got 214 subscribers. I left when I had 200 subscribers, so in two months I've got like 14 subscribers. It's still building up. I'm no longer able to make money off of YouTube, so I don't get monetized because they changed their thing, which is all for the best. I don't really care uh, because it's just better changes to YouTube. I don't really care about the money I'm making or not because I mean I have a job I go to school I get enough money I don't do this for money I do this because I like to ramble and stuff and yeah it's been it's it's yeah my room let's, let's go on about my room uh, I purchased myself a third monitor so now on one monitor I have the game another I have uh, OBS recording my screen and on another I have my Spotify playlist where it is currently paused on Dragon Sickness bonus track from The Hobbit The Battle of Five Armies because you know you gotta have some Lord of the Rings music on every once in a while. I have a playlist on there that is a mix up of every Star Wars soundtrack, every Lord of the Rings soundtrack, every Hobbit soundtrack and every Harry Potter soundtrack out there. It's got like 500 songs in it, well not 500, yeah probably about 500 songs in it. It's many, many hours long, and it's such a relaxing playlist to listen to when I'm working. It's very nice. And then, of course, I have my other playlist, which is Screamy, Shouty, Scary Metal. Because, you know, everyone needs some Screamy, Shouty, Scary Metal once in a while. And I'm sure not everyone needs that, but I certainly do. So, yeah, this series, I'm glad to bring back. I mean, how far have we made it? We've always made it to Whitfarrows. We'll almost make it to the Brandywine Bridge, actually. Yeah, we're going well. We're, we're making good progress. We've passed Frogmorton, passed Bywater. Okay, well, we're doing well. So the next the next crossroads we get to will be Whitfarrows, and then after that is the Brandywine Bridge. So we're doing well. Uh, I mean, it has to be raining. That's like a main thing for the Minecraft The Lord of the Rings series. It has to be raining. That's just protocol for it. Um, but yeah, more of what's happened in the last two months. I played uh, a modded Minecraft pack called Test Plack Please Ignore with a bunch of my friends from school. We all got on it for about two, three weeks whilst I had a sore throat. And we just played solidly. And I mean, I got everything I needed set up. I got a sweet castle filled with machinery. I got stupidly OP, got like 16,000 iron stored or something ridiculous. And yeah, it, it was really fun. It took no time, no time at all to get set up and everything because we were all helping each other. Hey, it's Whitfarrows. And yeah, it was just really, really, really good fun. And that's what really wanted me to get back into playing some modded Minecraft with Nano. And because they wouldn't want me to record on their server. Plus, I've already finished pretty much everything I wanted to do on that server. So I thought, why not start over with Nano? and record and upload it which should be brilliant the first episode of that as I said is out or will be coming out soon and it should be a really really fun series to do uh, I'm trying really hard not to repeat myself on this series but yeah it's got all sorts of mods in it it's got like 200 or something mods pretty much everything the one mod it doesn't have is this one which of course I miss but this this mod is one of those mods that you either sit down and play this mod solidly or you don't play it at all. So if it's in a mod pack, I mean, if you if it's in a mod pack, you're playing with friends. You either both just play Lord of the Rings, or you neither of you play it. Neither of you play it at all. And um, uh, an idea that I thought I would have is once my Lord of the Rings solo series sort of uh, dies and finishes, that I might bring in Nano or someone to play it with me in a co-op sort of scenario. So we both go out on an adventure we both have a goal that we both want to complete we stick together fight off enemies together explore together and just generally have a really really good time and I think uh, the fact that me and Nano already sit for an hour recording and then chopping it up okay one last warning an invitation so who's this from Rosamunda dear Berilak we must discuss your dining etiquette or rather the lack of thereof the lack thereof. 
Without fail, each time we host a neighbourhood dinner or picnic, you hog well over half of the food for yourself without giving anyone else a chance to eat their fill. And furthermore, during the Holman's party last week where he brought out the barrels of perry, you had the absolute gal to smother your lips all over the taps and drain the contents then and there. Your behaviour of ill befitting is ill befitting of your of a gentleman of your stature it is absolutely unacceptable and this is your last warning. Should you continue to be so insolent during our next gathering, you should not expect any further invitations from any of our family ever again. Well that sounds like he's been not very nice. Invitation Bilbo Baggins. We already have some invitations, don't we? Yeah. Don't need another one. Yeah, we don't need we don't need this invitation. We've already got invitations. Don't know why we're exploring this hobbit house. Does it have an undercarpet chest? No, one day it will. I mean you tell me why I'm in here. Don't really need any of this stuff, do I? Let's, let's leave. Let's stop. I'm sorry. Sorry for barging into your home like this. Sorry. I'll shut the door and I'll leave. It's just your house was right in the middle of the path. And I mean, I don't mean to be rude by climbing on your house, but you know. I'm sorry. And I mean, you'll already probably call me rude because I'm a scruffy man who lives in the wild. Dressed in full elven armour. With a dwarven battle axe, an elven bow and a dwarven mattock with a hobbit pipe. A backpack, six pouches, a red book, and some cooked rabbits. Just wandering through the Shire, sprint jumping like this, looking weird. Just wandering through the Shire as if I own the place, talking to myself about everything and everything. I mean, if, if you people in the Shire don't think that is strange, and you think Gandalf is strange, then I'm sorry, but you must be mistaken. But you know, we still don't. We still have quite a ways to go. We're just about to come up upon the Brandywine Bridge, which I mean that should be good. So my plan after the Brandywine Bridge is to take a detour south, the uh, past Haygate, Buckleberry, Hayes End, then follow the bank of the river down to the Withywindle Valley, up into the Barrow Downs, explore there a bit, and then go up into Bree. Sound like a good plan? I think so. And it means we sort of have a place to follow. So we have the river to follow. Uh, if not, they have the path. So, you know, it's going to be it's gonna be good. And I mean, you know the old forest is horrible anyway because of the dark hewons. But, you know, it should be fun to explore the old forest and just have a bit of a change of scenery. Always keep us on your toes, you know. And, I mean, the plan after Bree obviously to go up, uh, go up these places, Forsaken Inn maybe, uh, then we'll go over into Lone Lands, um, across over here, Troll Shores, the Angle, well not the Angle, Troll Shores, Rivendell, up into the Etham Moors, Angmar, Coalfells, Misty Mountains, oh, actually I reckon we'll go into the Misty Mountains, then head north up into Mount Gundabad, Mount Graham, Etham Moors, Angmar, then retrace our steps up into the Grey Moors, Grey Mountains, then follow this path down, go into the Woodland Realm, up into Thranduil's Halls, and then we'd retreat back down out, go down to Bayon's Hall, uh, and then go through Mirkwood, up into Dale, Lonely Mountain, come down over here, Dolgledore, over into Lorachi, I don't know. And then, unless after this, Unless after we go to Barrow Downs, we go south to N. Edwaith, into Rohan, and then up that way. That could be an idea. We'll see. We're not there yet. We're not going to be there for a couple episodes. But it's always nice to have a rough idea of what you're going to do. And I mean, we can go cross-country for a lot, a lot of it. Because we don't just have to stick to the path. Stick to the path is nice, and I believe... This is the Brandywine Bridge. The famous Brandywine Bridge. Just here. Right. So from here, we want to head southeast to Haygate. So we'll we'll take a detour. Um, cross country for this one. 
southeast over here. Let's make our way over to Haygate and down. Just see what we can find. God, it's awfully quiet without the rain, isn't it? It's so tranquil. So nice. I mean, just listen. Just the sound of my footsteps. Nothing else. Apart from that horse. Horse, you ruined the moment. God, that tree's big. Why do they have such a big tree down here? It's a nice big tree. Now I wonder, when are we going to find a path? Surely shouldn't be that far, should it? Oh, we're almost upon it. We just need to go more south. Should just be over here. Then we'll be straight on the path and able to continue, which is sick. It's great. Brilliant. I mean, my sense of direction has never been wrong. Apart from a lot of times. But that doesn't matter. That's not the point. Hey, look, there's the path. We are at Haymeet. Hey, Haygate, I mean. Not Haymeet. But now the idea is to follow that down through Buckleby, Hayes End, and south to the river, and follow the river along, along its bank. And then we'll, we'll be relatively safe as long as we follow the river along its bank. Because then if the trees come, we just knock them into the water and they float away. Which, you know, should be a pretty good thing. Because we don't like the trees. They scare me. But yeah, this is really quite a tranquil place. It's nice. I like it. And I mean, now I have the Lord of the Rings audiobooks. I can listen to them whilst I edit this video. What's this pub called? The Jolly Dwarf. I bet a Jolly Dwarf went there once and they named it after him. Because you know what dwarves are like when they get alcohol. Or any food. Or anything edible, really. Just anything, really. Dwarves tend to be quite jolly. Apart from when there's an elf. They don't like elves. I mean, that's all Thranduil's fault. Man with the big eyebrows. Oh, his big elk. Turning away, you know. It's very rude of him. Well, I see we're on the edge of a forest now. Yeah, we're almost in Buckleberry, which is nice. Yeah, this is a, it's a wooded area because we're getting closer to the old forest. These are pine trees, if I'm not mistaken, which are nice. I love having this compass up in the corner. It looks nice. And I love having ditched the way uh, the mini map. It's just something nice time for this compass up there. Throw that conquer over there. I don't need a conquer. Yeah, I really hope that people actually watch this seriously and don't just click on and off. Because I say a lot of stuff in these, and I mean, I know none of my friends watch this, like Nano or anyone, because no one has the time to watch this. Because it's such a long series, but it's one of those series you can just put on in the background when you're, you know, sat editing or sat reading or sat doing really anything, homework, gaming really, playing Minecraft for yourself. You can just sit and listen to my voice as I talk about playing Minecraft The Lord of the Rings over hill, running through the complete nothingness that is this world, and having a peaceful, peaceful time. And I mean, if you have two monitors like myself, you can put this on one monitor, this is game on the other. If you don't have two monitors, either put this on the monitor or have the game on and listen and then if you want to see something that's particularly interesting that's happened click back on but a lot of this series is running as you can imagine because you know it is minecraft the lord of the rings it's you've got a lot of traveling to do i mean in the lord of the rings movies this is the bit they cut out where they travel for so long on foot i mean they make it to mordor in like six hours six or nine hours 
if depending on whether you watch the extended editions or not. I watched the extended edition, so I'm going in nine hours. They like make it to Mordor and win everything in like nine hours of our time. For like a year of their time. So by putting in an hour each episode for me and still being in the Shire after something like eight or nine episodes I mean you know it sort of adds up I'm gonna be here for a year <laughs> a year worth of episodes not more um uh, yeah I'm gonna I mean when it reaches episode 24 there'll be pretty much a day's worth of Lord of the Rings series for you guys to watch just a whole day sit down and watch it but if not if it doesn't reach 24 which I, I reckon it will I reckon this will still go but yeah it should be good on apologies I'm just gonna have to really quick mic because I need to cough as you can tell my voice is going okay there we go I coughed out all of the gunk and junk that was making my voice go horrible. I love having a hotkey that just mutes my mic. Because I have two separate hotkeys. I have one for OBS, which is the minus on my numpad. And I have one for the uh, for Discord, which is my grav key, or grave, or whatever you want to call it. Um, you click that, I mute it from Discord. You click the minus, I mute it from OBS. So I can choose when I'm doing collabs whether I want to say something that they can't hear or whether I want to say something to them that my video can't hear. You know, it's it's one of those things. It's nice to have the opportunity rather than just have mute everything bound to a key. Because I found in the past that doesn't work so well. That really doesn't work so well. Yeah, I think my plan for today is to get on the borders of the old forest, if not enter it. Because I don't want to do another episode in the Shire. I mean, as great as the Shire is, I'm sure you guys are just as tired of it as I am. And I mean, this is a series I could have streamed over on Beam. But once the stream's done, I mean, I like to stream over there. And when I stream, I like to have music on. Sometimes it's Lord of the Rings music, sometimes it isn't, you know. And I can't upload those um, VODs to my channel as episodes because I use copyrighted music in the streams. Otherwise, it's very, very dull. Um, because I only really talk in streams when there's someone in the chat to talk to. So having music there really allows it to, you know, be interesting. And I mean, the path's just run out. So that means we're almost at the river. So we may even make it into the old forest this episode. Which would be brilliant. But yeah, I just need to keep heading south until I find the river. And then I'll be able to follow that eastwards into the old forest. I mean, I'm kind of scared. But I think I should pretty o be pretty okay. I, mean, I want to know what does more damage. My hefty blue dwarven warhammer or my handy blue mattock. Because, you know, they're trees. They're made of wood. So I don't know whether hitting them with an axe or a hammer would do more damage. I know if... I know the hammer does more damage anyway. No, the axe does more damage to trees, to humans, and the hammer does more damage to everything else, pretty much. Um, I don't know if the mattock works in the same way. Unfriendly trees, that must mean... I'm in the old forest. Okay, well, it says I'm on the river. Let's actually get down by the river. Okay, so there's the river. Keep that down there. Oof. I mean, if there's ever been a thumbnail opportunity, it's looking across the river to the green murky depths. Like that. What is my render distance and stuff on? 16? Come on, 32 it up. See, look, I'm fine. I've still got 130 FPS. I'll be fine. God, this place. I love it. So. Cre I love forests, essentially. In real life, in games, I absolutely love forests. And they're one of those 
things though. I don't know why I love them, I just really do. But I've always lived near a forest. Like, I've always lived with a forest on my back step. I can just go out into the woods and just run around. Or just sit under a tree and read or listen to my audiobooks. And I've lived in this house since I was seven. I've lived in the house next door from when I was three until I was seven. And before that, I lived in a small village with a forest. So I've never lived anywhere without a forest. And they're just one of those places that are just a real huge comfort. I mean, there's no better feeling than going out into a forest. I mean, just just being able to smell like the bracken and just look around to trees towering above you and the smell the smells of the forest are just lovely and i mean in games and in it doesn't really you can't smell stuff obviously but the old forest here is really nice because it's it's dense it's green it's lush and the forest i live nearby isn't quite dense as dense as this but it's green and lush most times of the year and then like autumn time the bracken all turns brown and crunchy and it turns into this crunchy brown forest and it's just amazing I mean we haven't encountered any deadly trees yet I'm surprised I'm very surprised Uh, have I tried to chop down a tree yet? Okay, here is some. Okay, they're much stronger than I thought. Okay. Yeah, I think my best bet is to run. Because I'm going to die. That's a lot of deadly trees. They're surrounding me. Should not have hit that one. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. Okay, this is where the water was a good idea. Okay. Let's not hit the trees. Capiche? Capiche? What are you doing? Oh, that's the scariest thing. Let's get in the water and see what he does. Okay, you can swim. Can't outswim me, boy. Tree. Can't outswim me. I was number one on the ugly wanderer swimming team. Oh, you were number one on the tree swimming team? Well, I'm sorry. But uh, you know what? I think there were more humans swimming than trees. Just a guess. Oh god, it's night time. That makes this place even more creepy and amazing. So we don't get ambushed by scary trees again, yeah? That would not be good. That would not be good at all. Uh Okay, we seem to be, seem to be okay. Seem to have made peace with me. Traveling through the old forest was a... No, I don't think that's a real tree. So I'm not going to punch its leaves to move. God, oh, this, this, this episode... Ugh, gives me the shivers. Especially as we're... Scaling a river bank, of which we are following the river, through a evil forest where everything's trying to kill you. I mean, by everything I mean the trees, which I mean in the forest is pretty much everything. And, I mean, my throat's going. It's dark. We've got a long way to go. And on the other side awaits me some place with some dead guys. But it, they in the dead guys' places, they do have like some armor and stuff, so it should be quite good. 
So we'll briefly pass through the Barrow Downs. And then we'll be out into free wilderness, which of course is scary because orcs. Don't want to break any leaves in case they see me and get mad. You know, how far are we getting? Oh god, we're not even like half the way. God, this is terrifying. That noise as well. It's going to take at least three new uh, three days to get to get there. It takes at least three days. It's going to be a long, long road for me through this uh, terrain. At least when there was a path, it was somewhat easy terrain, and there weren't evil trees trying to kill me at every corner. But uh, it wasn't it wasn't as adventurous, you know. But life isn't about all the adventures. Life is about getting from A to B as easy, as quickly as possible. Ow! Got spanked by a tree. God, imagine if this happened in real life. Just go into a forest and the trees start killing you. I mean, gosh, that would be horrible. I know I wouldn't like forests as much as I do now. I can tell you that much. I mean, one topic I want to talk about is what other series would you guys like to see on this channel? Because I want to do Lego Lord of the Rings really badly and Lego The Hobbit and do a complete playthrough of those. But I realize I can't use the music from the games because they get copyrighted and taken down. And without the music, they're not that great. But they're Lego, and they're fun. And I think I will end up doing them. I'll do a level per episode. A bit like my old Star Wars, Lego Star Wars 3, The Clone Wars, but more relevant to my channel, Lego Lord of the Rings. And I think I'll have a much more fun time with it because I haven't played that game since it came out ages ago. And I played it on my Wii U. And, of course, I can't have my Wii U recorded with the software I use, so I'm going to have to rebuy it on Steam and do the series then, which I think I'll do when I get paid. Because I'm running quite low on funds. Because I've been buying Lord of the Rings audiobooks and a Lord of the Rings phone case. Because my mumbo jumbo phone case is dented, scratched, broken. And it's it's time for an upgrade. And I mean, is this a clearing? Oh, well, that doesn't look menacing. That looks menacing. They're all coming. Ow. Oh my god. That that certainly was menacing, I, I do admit that. That was very menacing indeed. God, you're seeing those faces on the trees as well. It's just so evil. What is this? Is this the river? Oh, sweet mother of God. That's a big lake that I was not foreseen. But I see trees over the other side, so maybe I can skirt around the outside. Maybe that's the thing I could do, or does it connect to the river? It's looking to connect to the river. No, maybe not. I have sight on land. Okay, this is something. So I don't want to have to swim because, you know, getting my clothes wet and having to travel in them all the days, like all day and all night, just traveling, traveling in wet clothes, the blisters would get immeasurably bad. That's why you always have to have a boat. And I don't have the resources to get a boat at the moment. And to hell. Am I chopping down a tree in this place? Okay, I think this is my own... Oh! Yes, you can come across. I think I'm going to have to swim. I mean... Water gives trees power, don't, doesn't it? I mean, like, grow and stuff. Don't even know what I'm talking about, but I need to get across the river. Away from that tree. I don't know what's going to be better though, the Barrow Downs or the trees in the old forest. So it's either 
you get undead wraiths, marrow wraiths, or marrow rats, whatever they're called, trying to kill you. But they only come out at night. But they're more dangerous. Or you get trees that come out all the time that are super fast, but are less dangerous, chasing you. And there's a lot of them. Uh, a very lot of them. But it's nice because there's a big clearing. You know what big clearings are good for? Running. Oh my! Run, little legs, run. I'm too young to die, especially by trees. Come on. Get away. Run. I think I made it. I can no longer hear their footsteps. Jeez, this, this episode's been intense. Hasn't it just? Gosh. Well, let's go. Let's keep going. How far do we have to go? Route with the Windle Valley. Oh, with the Windle Valley. Hopefully that's a nice place. Doubt it, but it's worth a shot. Wow, okay. That's an evil tree. He's looking at me. I think, honestly, he wants to kill me. Let's get out of here. That didn't rhyme. But so what? It was a bad song. Let's go. Let's run. Let's run as fast as we can so they can't catch me because I'm a wandering man. Don't want to check how far we've got to go because that happens. You get treed. I mean, I hate it when there's loads of these trees here because you know that all of them. I'm stuck. They've got me. They've got me cornered. There's so many of them. I'm dead. Goodbye. Ah. Uh... Oh, well, that boosted me. That certainly boosted me, that death. I'll take it. I will take it. If the world would load in. A whole new world. Please load in now, otherwise I'll be sad. Yeah, we're right, we're right by the river now, right at the end. In the Barrow Downs. Well, nearly in the Barrow Downs, so... Next episode, we can start off fresh in the Barrow Downs and go up to Bree. Oh, God, I'm in the river. So you want to keep heading east. Right, okay. Well, well, well. Let's get on the very edge of the Barrow Downs. Well, maybe not. Well, we'll get certainly round to the Barrow Downs at some point. But I'll try my best to get there now. Because in the dark, this forest is terrifying. I mean, I really, really hope that it becomes daytime soon. Because I've spent all night fighting these trees, walking through this old, horrible forest. And my legs hurt. I just want it to be daytime so I can see and then maybe I can take a break because that's what happens between the episodes. I walk for a day or two and then I take a break, make set up camp between episodes and sleep and I don't show you guys that obviously because that's tiring. Well, tiring, that's boring I should say and that's 
That's the Barrow Downs. Ooh, okay. So yeah, we're right on the edge of the Barrow Downs. Let's not enter the Barrow Downs. Oh my god. Let's not enter the Barrow Downs in the night time. Okay. That wasn't terrifying. No, I don't know what I prefer. Deadly trees? Or deadly ghosts? Oh, that's creepy. Oh no. Go away. Go away. Go away. Dropped a skull. I don't dagger. I don't like this. I don't like this at all. Oh no, there's another one. scary at all. Okay. Let's take a break. Let's put them away. Coin pouch. Let's put you in there. Don't need any iron leggings. We'll put them over there. Okay, well, I don't think I'm going to go in there anytime soon. So I think I'm going to set up my camp here. And see you guys in the next episode. Thank you so much for watching and goodbye.